hey guys welcome back in today's video i will show you how to make oven baked tilapia, tilapia fish. fish oven baked tilapia fish so about to clean the fish can you guys see how the fish is very big in fact eh? this fish let me try and clean it I don't know, I've seen some people using scissors to cut this thing. I don't know how scissors so. mm. Let's try and cut it away. Okay. Yeah, not the issue. Mm. This one's yeah, not very bad. Yeah. The scissors is very small. Mm. The scissors is not this small. This is the one I have. Oh, I need that sound a lot. Some juice. I'm going to clean it. We just cut on this side. What is this? I shook somebody here. I don't have um, bigger scissors. Can you use big scissors to remove all these things? I can still move the one I can. I want to do this. to be very, very careful when you do You need to be very, very careful when, when you're trying to do all this because if not, see, now I cannot remove this one. Like the important thing is you are able to remove the whole of the whole scale just try and scratch like this to remove the scale and open this place like this so 
Ah, yeah. Just open here. Open it like this. Then, cut here. Yeah. Like this. Oh my gosh. You just need to be like, like very, very careful. Then you just try and drag. And drag the thing like this. Then shook your hand inside. And try to grab for that. I don't know what it is called. This uh, thing that is inside. And after we should wash the fish very well. You rinse it out with water. Like this. Rinse the inside. Mm. These ones are very big like this. They are a bit difficult, so you need to be careful when filming them or else you're going to shoot. <laughs> going to enjoy your hand. Mm -hmm. So, just need to be extra careful.
all the uh, ingredients I'll be using to marinate this fish. I have onion, I have uh, garlic, I have uh, spring onion, uh, red bell pepper. You can use any bell pepper of your choice. You can use the green one because sometimes I also use the green one. But today I'm making use of what I have in the fridge. So I don't have the green one, but I have the red one. And I also have uh, celery, cedar, and, and that's all. That's all. So I'll just put them into the blender like so. Then I'll go ahead and blend everything. But I'll not be using water to blend. I'll be making use of extra virgin oil to blend. Uh, I'm not going to be adding pepper because I'm going to make a pepper sauce later that will be used to that I'll use to eat this uh, fish. So now I'm going to add my olive oil. I will use this olive oil in blending instead of water. If you guys understand what I'm trying to do, so just add the oil. Just had enough because this oil is also going to up the fish not to get burnt so much in the oven uh, when it's grilling inside the oven. So in here, so <laughs> so in here I have my spices. Yeah, I have um, white pepper, black pepper. I have uh, turmeric, curry, and this is uh, all different types of herbs. You know. So I'll just add everything into this and blend them together. And I think I'll be adding my seasoning cube along with it and blend it also together. You know, let me just show you guys everything. Ooh, I, 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 some of them just fell. So I'll be adding also some seasoning cube. I'll add two seasoning cube. You can add one if you want i'll add two because i want it to uh, because i'll not be adding much salt i don't think i'll be adding salt anyway so i will not be adding salt so i'll add two of this seasoning cube so then i'll go ahead and blend everything then i'll come and so guys i finished blending and this is how the all ingredients is looking like after blending so now i'll just get my fish my hands, <laughs> my hands are very, very clean. I, I have washed my hands, so I'll just try to marinate like so. Just to rub everything now. Just rub it. Yeah, add it inside. You see, inside the, inside the belly. <laughs> add it inside be the belly everywhere, you know. Oh my God, you see, this my bowl is very big. Old. So I'll just use my hand to rub eh? uh, all these holes that I, this thing, I'll just try to make sure everywhere. And I'll get this one also. I'll try to put the, the sauce into it like this. So if you want, you can make use of hand glove. If you feel you don't want to use your hand. Oh, you can use a brush, but I, I'm using my hands because my hands are clean. I have washed them. So, yeah, I have uh, garlic. <laughs> it didn't melt, so let me just chuck it inside. It didn't blend well. So, I'll just open and I'll put some of the sauce into it. Try to... Just like that, so simple. So I'll do the same for this one. If you have a bigger bowl, you can use a bigger one, but I don't have this. The other one I think is too big, so I just want to, that's why I'm using this one. Just try. So, so you can use your ends if your ends are washed already. Like mine, they are washed already. So, I'll just add again inside here. Oops. Like that. And I have the last one. Just make sure you just rub it everywhere. You know? Like this. You see? It's also falling. And I'll open here. And I have the menu one. 
So I am going to put this one, all these fish, I'll wrap them up and I'm going to put it in my fridge for 30 minutes to one hour after we shall go and put them in the oven and after that the fish will be ready. So I will put them in the fridge right now. I'm going to come and wrap them up. So I'm going to wrap it now with this um, with this plastic wrap. I'll wrap and I'll put it in the fridge. Uh oh, strong. So after an hour, the fish is ready now to go into the oven. And if today is your first time of stopping by this channel, my name is Rachel. I do food, air, and lifestyle vlog so please do not forget to subscribe press the red button and put it into all so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first to be notified and i'll be leaving the link of my other fish video and other food video please do well to watch them and i'll see you in my next one bye bye It's not a game, it's a red stick.